All right, hello children, listen up. Today we're going to be going over how to train or how to rotate figures on the coordinate plane with the center of rotation being at the origin. So let's look at our first problem. We have triangle ABC with A being the coordinate negative 4 comma 1, B being the coordinate negative 3 comma 5, and C being the coordinate negative 1 comma negative 1. And we want to rotate this triangle 90 degrees counterclockwise. So first thing we should do is actually plot this triangle. I'm going to start with point A, negative 4, meaning we're going to go to the left 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and up 1. So that right there is our coordinate A. Then we got B, which is negative 3, 5, 1, 2, 3, and up 5, 1, 2, three, four, five. That's our coordinate B. Then we got C being negative one, negative one, right there. And if we connect all our dots, we'll get this nice looking triangle, an attempt at a triangle right here. So, what is our rule for 90 degree rotation, well it goes like this. If we have some coordinate, x comma y, then after a 90 degree rotation, the coordinate will be transformed into negative y comma x. So what does that look like? Let's start with coordinate a. Coordinate a is negative four comma one, that's our a. It's going to be transformed into the coordinate a prime, which is just our standard notation for after a transformation. Our x value is negative four. Our y value is negative or is positive one. So when we flip it, we get negative y. So we're going to have negative one, comma, our regular x value of negative four. So, go back on the coordinate plane, graph your new point, negative 1, comma, negative 4. So down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And that right there is our A prime. Now let's do B. B is going to go like this. B, regular B, is the coordinate, negative 3, comma, 5. So after the transformation, we get the coordinate B prime, which is going to be negative 5, since that's our y value, comma, negative 3. So look at our graph. Go to the left 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and down 3, 1, 2, 3. And that's our B coordinate. And you should know that if you're doing a 90 degree rotation, wherever your point was, whether if it's in this quadrant right here, this would be the second quadrant, it's going to move one quadrant over into the third quadrant. That's how you can tell if you're doing it right. So now let's finish it off with C. C is our coordinate negative 1 comma negative 1 and that's going to be transformed into C prime which is the coordinate positive 1 comma negative 1 so we got positive 1 comma negative 1 and that's C prime and if you look yeah C moved over one quadrant it was in quadrant 3 and now it moved into quadrant four. Once we get to that point, we can then create a line, our, our triangle, by connecting all the dots, just like this. And we get our reflected triangle for problem one. Now, let's go on to problem two. We have our triangle RST 
and I'm going to move a little bit faster through this one. I'm just going to plot each point. So we're going to start with R. R is 1 and positive 2. Just like that. S is 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 2. So right around there. And then T is 2. 1, 2, and negative 3. 1, 2, 3. That's T. Connect all our dots, and we get our triangle looking something like this. Okay. Now, the rule for a 270 degree rotation goes like this. You still have your coordinate x, comma, y. And then after a 270 degree rotation, it's going to be converted into y, comma, negative x. So, let's start with r. r is 1, comma, 2. And that's going to be transformed into 2 comma negative 1. So let me do this in red just to make the visual pop out. We're going to go over 2, 1, 2, and down 1 right there. So this point right here is R prime. Okay, now we're going to do S. S is 4 comma 2 and we're going to rotate that and it's going to end up as 2 comma negative 4. So we're going to go to over 2 to the right and down 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And that right there is S prime. Now if you notice R and S are in quadrant, bleh, quadrant 1 a 270 degree rotation will move it three quadrants over. So one, two, three, all the way to quadrant four. And we can tell we're doing it somewhat correct because our two points are in around where they should be. Finally, we have to do T. T is two comma negative three. And T is located in quadrant four. So if you rotate it around, counterclockwise three spots it will be one two three so we should expect it somewhere around here well when we flip our corner around it's going to look like negative three comma negative two so over three one two three down two and what do you know it's in the quadrant we expected we're going to call that t prime Connect your lines just like that. And there's a little bit of overlap, but that's okay. Because you'll get that sometimes. It doesn't mean you did anything wrong. And I know the triangles look hideous, but that is our rotated triangle. And in the next video, we'll go over problem three.